Today I will show you how to evacuate an R600A upright freezer. Make sure you observe so that you can follow the procedure well. First, we need to connect our bulb core remover into the charging valve. Ensure the connection is tight and the valve core is already removed. Then, we need to use a shorter charging hose for faster vacuuming. Connect our blue hose to the bulb core remover from this R600A manifold gauge. Connect our red hose from the manifold gates to our digital micron gates. Make sure that you connect it to the back side. Connect the yellow hose to the vacuum pump intake port. Check the oil level of our vacuum pump and never use it if it is slow. Plug the vacuum pump service cord into our AC outlet. Then, switch on the vacuum pump. Now that the vacuum pump is running, open the low side bulb of our manifold gauge thoroughly. Switch on our digital micron gauge by pressing the power button. This is our complete vacuuming setup. And this is the specification of our vacuum pump. Seems like the battery of our vacuum cage is low. We need to replace it. And our compound gauge is start pulling down to negative 30 inches mercury. Now that we replace the battery, we can see some micron readings on our vacuum gauge. So the battery is 9 volts.
Now that the vacuum gauge is set, we will open the manifold gauge high side bulb thoroughly so that our micron gauge will show us the level of uh, dryness of our system. Now we are reading about 1,400 1, microns and we need to wait until we reach 500 microns because that is the usual recommendations of the manufacturers before we can recharge a freezer or refrigerator. Please watch the continuation of this video so that you will learn how to properly charge our freezer using an R600A flammable refrigerants and with our electronic charging scale. And I hope you learned something from this demonstration.